everyone! Welcome back to our modded create series where Blockdown and I are transforming this island into a create lover's sanctuary. In between episodes, I went diamond mining with my Fortune 3 pickaxe and got a ton of diamonds. I also bred up the bunnies and marveled at their AI, and then I did a little bit of rabbit hide harvesting. And of course, I did that for a reason. As you can see, I'm wearing full diamond armor, and I have enchanted a little bit. And from my back, you can see that I have a backpack. Right now it's full of flowers, but I did make a second backpack for Blockdown when we see him. But that'll have to wait for later as I wanna tell you about what we're gonna be doing today. I gathered all the flowers and plants that we have on the island because I wanna build a greenhouse. Inside our greenhouse, we're gonna take advantage of this mod called Botany Pots to grow endless amounts of flowers for some flower fields for the island. Before we start though, we're gonna need a lot of terracotta and I wanna find the last saplings and flowers that we don't have, which is blue orchids, mangrove, dark oak, acacia. Oh uh, yeah, I've got a long laundry list of things that we need. On a side note, I've been gathering a lot of honey from beehives because we have a feature that allows us to customize our backpacks with different skins. And there's a honey jar one that I really want and I only need three more. So let's gather the last three that we need and then take a look at the backpack together. Here's another hive, and then I think the last one is just over here. Yeah, here it is. All right, so that unlocks the honey jar backpack, so we can open it up and go to customize, and then select it, save. And now we've got a honey jar on our back, but it's still the same backpack. That's so cool. I've cleared out my inventory, and now I'm just gonna head over to blocks and get the plane. Very interesting parking space block down, but I should have known you weren't gonna make this easy for me. I guess it's time for some adventure. Whoa, this is like an abandoned swamp village. Any blue orchids? I think I just saw one. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's set this thing down. All right, so let's grab this brown mushroom and we'll get our blue orchids. And you know what? I also think I want a lily pad. But this is the flower that we came for, so let's grab this and then we can continue on our journey. I'm a little bit curious about this village though, so we just got an advancement called Bewitched. Maybe that means that there are witches living here. Oh man, of course, the one time that I'm actually right about witches living here. Oh no. Let's just, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're being evicted. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to get out of here. And let me see what you got in the chest. Not the best. This little blacksmith might have some diamonds. And why would I even think that? But you know what, I'm gonna take the smithing table. Honestly, there's not a ton of interesting stuff going on here, but the witches do drop some emeralds, which is kind of nice. This house has a slime trapped in it, what? This is the weirdest village I have ever seen. We still have quite a few things to find, so I think I'm gonna head to the plane and, oh my God, oh my God, there's a snake. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what the heck? Wait, oh my gosh, there's the witch hot cat. Wait. I need fish so badly right now. Is there any fish over here? Fish? Wait, if I grab some of this cobweb, I can make a fishing rod. This could take a while. I have six fish. Hopefully six fish is enough. Come here, Mr. Kitty. I have fish and I can run faster than you. Come here. You will take the fish. See, that wasn't so bad. And your name's gonna be Michael. Okay, can you get in the plane? Oh my gosh, you can. You're the coolest cat ever. Now let's go. We've got a lot of places to explore today. Back home, we can bone meal our mangrove leaf to get a propagule. And now that we have all of the plants that we wanna grow, we need to go get the materials to build this thing. So I headed down into the caves to gather up a bunch of copper. Okay, I've got all this copper smelting. I'm just gonna swap some more in. I'm also gonna be using some glass, so let's sail over to this little island over here and grab a bunch of sand. Cause no one's even gonna know that we're taking it. Like it's fine. 
The copper has pretty much taken the rest of our coal though. And so I was looking into how we can make glass without coal and apparently in create, there's a way. For this smelting contraption, we're basically gonna have to get a bucket of lava and then make an encased fan. And this thing's a pretty easy crafting recipe, so no big deal there. We just put the bucket of lava in front of the fan once it's spinning and then it should smelt for us. So we'll just grab our lava and then head home and smelt all of that sand. And as you can see from my inventory, I may have went a little overboard, so it's probably good that we're gonna set this up. I just need to head into the iron farm and grab some iron. We'll place those on the smashy thingies here in Blocks Workshop. And when those are done, we'll go ahead and craft our propeller. We'll need a shaft as well, and it's pretty easy to make some andesite casing. So let's set up a temporary water wheel set up over here. And then we'll get some cog wheels going and put down our fan. And it's kind of slow, but it is pushing us in the right direction, which is good. Let's go ahead and make a little lava barrier. And then the trap door here will stop the lava. And then once we put the lava in, we should be able to just throw a stack of sand. And then it should, over time, just slowly turn into glass. Oh my god, why isn't it working? It's taking so long. What the heck's happening? Why isn't it working? Maybe I just need to speed it up. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't have any water. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn to death. Help! All right, I'm placing a block here and I've got this thing going faster. So let's just throw this sand up here and hope for the best. I think maybe it was just getting out of range of the fan before without a block there to stop it. And look, it did actually smelt this time. Okay, this is perfect. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this sand and copper smelted and then I'll bring him back for the next part of this project. We're gonna have to do some terraforming and my pickaxe is getting very close to breaking. So I think I'm gonna go over to the enchanting area and combine these with an anvil. It's gonna take 12 levels, but I think it's gonna be worth it just to have a repaired pickaxe. I also have two swords to combine, but I don't think I have enough levels, no. So we're gonna have to get some more XP. And let's get those combined. And now this sword is gonna be so good here at the mob farm to kill mobs with. Oh my gosh, look at that. Once we get mending on our tools, it's gonna be so easy to repair them. Now, as far as location goes, I think this hill over here by our starter house is a perfect area for our greenhouse. So I need to get to chopping and do a little bit of terraforming and then we can hopefully get started. The grass needs to come back in, but we do have a blank canvas to work with now. And I don't have silk touch to move this beehive, so it's gonna sit here for now as long as it doesn't interfere with the greenhouse. Now, if you remember earlier, I did say that I needed to go get terracotta, but we can actually automate our clay production with the create mod. It has a 5% chance to drop when you crush gravel, but that chance increases to 25% when you wash sand. We can completely automate the production of sand and clay and terracotta with the create mod, but we do need to go to the nether because we're gonna need to get some stuff to make crushing wheels. The recipe itself isn't that bad, but we do need mechanical crafting to make this. But a mechanical crafter needs a bunch of things, including brass, which you get from heating copper and zinc with a blaze burner. And it also needs this tube thing, which you get from making rose quartz. And rose quartz is basically just quartz and redstone combined. So I think I'm gonna go and see what Blockdown's up to because maybe he'll need to go to the nether too. And then we can go together. So it'll be a little bit less chaotic. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You, you have a jar of pee on your back? It's honey, it's a honey jar. I've been keeping the bees that are around the island. It's a backpack. A backpack? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I made you a backpack too. Would you look at that? I've got a cardboard box one. <laughs> 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 so you know how you're like my best friend and you're so cool and you're so strong? Mm, yep. Yeah. For real, I really need to go to the nether because I need brass and I need electron tube thingies. To be fair, I also need to go to the nether and yeah, I need quartz. I also need to catch some blaze. Okay. So I need to go to a nether fortress as well. Block down builds, by the way. This is a block down builds. <laughs> yeah, frog crafting, light up the portal. I'm scared. Nah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> 
there's a cast. Oh! <laughs> there's something down there. What is it? Oh, it's like a camp. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what they got. So Blockdown and I cleared out the camp, but there wasn't really a lot there. I did manage to find a piglin head, which was pretty cool. And then unexpectedly, I found a wither skeleton who actually dropped his skull when I killed him. No way. Did he get a skull? <laughs> Oh my god, no way! I actually need to craft some blaze thingies. Blaze cages, I think they're called. Okay. And Block explained that we could actually use these to capture blazes to make brass back home. Look, there's another fortress right there! What? Your boys come prepared. Boom. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this. So using the awesome plane, we sailed over the lava lake, even fighting some gas with our bows from the air. Oh my god, this is a big fortress, you know? Oh my, look at all that! As we got closer, we got an advancement for stumbling upon another keep. So we dodged some more blaze fireballs and then landed on the roof. This is for wax fraud. And your one shot death. Peeking through some fencing in the roof, I saw that there was a ton of blazes in the middle of the structure. So we jumped off the roof into the structure and yeah, we got ambushed by a ton of wither skeletons. Oh my God, I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, blaze, there's blaze, I'm catching blaze. I met up with Blockdown once again and we caught some blazes and we even found some nether wart. But then Blockdown had a super big brain idea. If we could find a blaze spawner and then bring that home. Oh my god, that would be- Oh my god, there's so many wither skeletons behind me! Oh, oh, that's so <laughs> bad. oh my god! Oh my god, he has some kind of instrument! He's playing the bagpipes! <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god! Please say he dropped the bagpipes. I have two wither heads! No, I have three! Oh, there's so many blaze in there! And then we noticed the blaze spawner. Yo! Oh my god, it's so chaotic in here, block down. Oh god. Oh, we sorry! Oh. Sorry! <laughs> we need to get that spawner and get the heck out of this area. It's so hard in here. That's what she said. I tried my best to fight off all the blazes while Blocky was building up to the spawner, and I even found a chest with a netherite upgrade template and a netherite ingot in it. Finally, he remembered how to pick up the spawner, and then it was time to go. Why is it always me that's got to carry the spawners? Because you're stronger than me. You are right. Oh, worst staircase ever. Once we were back on the roof, the question became, could we get in the plane with the spawner? Please say we can get in the ship. With the spawner? Yes. <laughs> I'm in the ship. Should we just drop this off at home and then come back for courts? Yes. We flew back over the lava lake and landed at our portal, and then we took the spawner onto block down side of the island where he could eventually turn it into a farm. Then we went back into the nether in search of quartz and ender pearls. <laughs> we just unlocked the piglin backpack! Oh! Oh, yo! Oh yeah, I'm putting that on. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so cool! Look at it on my back! Yo! We decided to split up and I would focus on getting nether quartz since I had fortune and Blockdown would focus on getting ender pearls. Blocky even managed to get some warp nylium from some endermen that had picked it up, so he gave it to me so I could farm warped wood. That was such a fruitful trip. I know, right? I will um see you later. I've got so much work to do. I've literally achieved nothing yet, so... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's totally fine. I'll be over in my area doing all of my very important work. I'll see you later then. Bye, See Michael. Ya. Bye, Michael. Bye, Blocky. Thanks for the backpack and the burgers. Bye. Oh, man, I just got back from the nether with Blocky and I wasn't filming, but I managed to catch another zombie villager. So I have him in a boat and I'm going to name tag him so he doesn't despawn. But this could be our guy for mending. But then I'll have to wait for later as I'm going to be going ahead and aging some copper. So I'll probably have to AFK a little bit since this does take a while to age. But I figured we've used copper in every single one of our builds so far, so I want to continue the copper theme today and use copper in our greenhouse. And this is probably going to take absolutely forever, so I won't make you stand around and watch this with me. I'm going to also want some warp trap doors for this build, so I guess we'll just farm the warped wood while we're waiting for the copper. Because now we can just bone meal this little mushroomy, and then we can get all the wood. And that is a really, really large tree. Oh my gosh. I also headed down into the caves to grab some zinc so that we can make brass. And while I was down there, I found a huge calcite vein, so I took a ton of stacks back up to the surface. And up in Block's workshop, we can drop in our zinc, and then we should also be able to throw in some copper, and then should be able to feed this guy a blaze rod, which is kind of sad. But this should make brass for us. Okay, it just stopped spinning. How do I 
Where's the brass? Hello? Maybe I have to get it with an empty hand. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. And it gave us 64. Oh, that's really cool. I have so many different things that I'm going to have to craft up. We're going to need brass sheets and we're going to need electron tubes. We're going to need funnels. So I think I'm just going to get to crafting everything that I need, like this rose quartz. And of course, we're going to need some sandpaper. And oh, we unlock the create backpack. That's cool. OK, wait, wait, wait. I want to see what that looks like. Oh, this is so cool. What? I love it. All right, we're definitely going to need some more iron sheets. And then, of course, I'm going to do a little bit of andesite alloy making. We'll sand down our rose quartz into polished rose quartz so we can actually use it in our electron tubes. And luckily, those are pretty easy to craft. We only need one smart shoot, so I'm only going to make one. And then I love that you can vein mine strip the logs when you are making andesite casing. We're also going to need some brass casing really quickly. And these will let us make our mechanical crafters so that we can make our crushing wheels. But even with all of that grinding and crafting, our copper is still not completed yet. So I'm going to kill this zombie. And then I figure we can probably just start laying out a floor plan for the greenhouse. Also, just so you guys know, this is not the original set of copper anymore. I have actually swapped it out a few times. So let's start here. I want to do a five wide entryway. And then it can come back a couple of blocks for like a little entryway room. And then I want it to be five blocks in between each of the copper pillars. And if we pop into free cam, this is kind of the front shape there with the path that I want. Although it definitely is going to have to move over just a little bit because it's not centered. I just finished up the sides and now I'm just going to do the back. It'll pretty much mirror the front except for that it won't have the front entryway. And now that it's completed, we can pop into free cam. And this is our very basic shape for our greenhouse. Now over here, I'd like to have a couple of rows of botany pots, but then over here in this side, I want to have an entrance into our clay farm. And for that, we'll probably just build a staircase down into the bottom, which doesn't necessarily make the most sense for a greenhouse. But the way that I'm seeing it is that we're needing flower pots to make the stuff for the greenhouse. So it kind of works out. We're going to need a pretty sizable room down here to work with. So let's kick this off into a time lapse as I finish this staircase. I'm going to smelt some kelp here with some lava that I just picked up from the caves. And then we can go ahead and start setting up our mechanical crafters. Now these sort of look like a wheel. So I'm just going to do three on the bottom and then five in the middle three times and then three on the top. I just realized to move these, we're going to have to go craft a wrench, which means I'm going to need to go get golden sheets, which I don't have. So I'll be right back. Wrench has been acquired. So we can now make these all turn into like one direction, basically. So the top needs to come down. The middle needs to come down. And then we've got them all pointing into one spot. Now it needs to be powered so we can turn it on. But I only have one water wheel, which I don't think is going to be enough. So let's try this really quickly. And then if I have to make more, I will. And yep, this is pretty overstressed. Let's try with like three more water wheels and see how that does. Because this should make this all turn. Oh, it is. Perfect. Okay. Now the ingredients for this are listed in JEI. So always refer to that if you're confused. But that's what I'm using to make this. And hopefully it works. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never done anything like this. This is pretty big for me. So hopefully it works. Oh, look at it, it's moving. Wait, this is so cool. This has taken no joke, like almost like 45 seconds to fully come together. But here it goes. It's finally going to make it to the end. This is so cool. Oh, it's got like a fancy little animation. This is so sick. What? And then it should just pop out the crushing wheels. Oh my gosh, there it is. Look. And then we can just take it. I thought it was supposed to go onto the depot, but maybe I did that wrong. Oh, this is so awesome. Let's go. We did it. And the last thing we're going to have to do is craft precision mechanisms, which is actually going to require quite a bit of work, it looks like. But if you just ignore how ugly and chaotic this temporary setup is, we should just be able to slap down our golden sheets and hopefully one of them will actually get turned into a precision mechanism. But we'll just do one at a time and we'll do this one for now. Looks like it's still going good. I don't know what it looks like when it breaks, but we'll just keep going here. And the water is so annoying. I'm so sorry. Let me uh, just block that off really quick. All right, it's gone through four cycles and it's still good. So hopefully this one doesn't break and it actually completes. Okay, last bit, last bit. Come on. <gasps> 
let's go we did it and of course we needed one of those to craft a rotation speed controller which we now have and at this point, I'm just going to let you guys know, I tried to figure this out on my own, but I ended up really, really failing in a creative world. So I found a tutorial to help me out. So big shout out to Tira Lore on YouTube for their tutorial. And I'll link that in the description if you guys want to build this farm for yourselves. All right. So with a little bit of adjustment for the terracotta bit, I got the entire farm working. The farm has basically already been producing some bricks and some terracotta. So I'm going to grab those up and make some botany pots for above. Partially, I just want to make sure they're working, but also I need some warped wood. So we just need a couple of flower pots to start this process as they are the center of our botany pots. And then we can go ahead and surround them sort of like a hopper. And there we go. We have a botany pot and then we can add a hopper underneath. So then this botany pot will automatically hopper drops out of it, which is amazing. So we'll go ahead and get a couple of our botany pots set up here. Each botany pot needs a soil and a seed, and this one is using the warped fungus, so that way we can grow actual warped wood in it. You can do this with most items in the game, so we'll do another one with the tulips in it, and then as you can see, they slowly get bigger and bigger as they grow, and they'll amass in the barrels. I'm gonna let these farms run in the background while I build the greenhouse, so enjoy the time lapse. Well, we've got the start of a greenhouse here. It still needs a lot of work and a lot of details, but I'm waiting on some more warped wood because I'm out after making a ton of trapdoors. I actually went AFK in between recordings as well because I went to go get some lunch. So we have a bunch of bricks and some terracotta as well. So we can make some more botany pots. And of course we're gonna make those all into hopper botany pots. And then we can just start laying out some of our barrels. That way we can get these pots going. I think two back-to-back -back rows of barrels will be enough for the flowers and the foliage, but we'll have to do some other ones for the trees and other things. And we could just put a bunch of them for the trees over here. So we'll do like dark oak and mangrove and acacia wood over here. And then we'll do maybe like a little nether section. And then it's time to get all of these set up. Don't forget to add the flowers. And then we'll add an area here in the middle so we can add some more flowers that are being grown and then a little like barrel and pots area over here with some extra shelving. Let's fix up this window that I didn't even realize that I didn't fill in yet. Then we'll go ahead and get some lanterns hung up around here for some lighting. Let's plant some flowers in the middle and of course we're going to plant tulips because they are my favorite. But I'm definitely gonna add some spore blossoms coming down for some ambient particles. And I think I'll add some leaves and stuff hanging from the ceiling as well. All right, I think it's time to speed run the rest of the decoration of this room, the outside, and of course the clay farm as well. So here we go. Okay, it's grand reveal time and I turned on shaders to walk through this because I just feel like the experience is so pretty with shaders. I connected the greenhouse up by a pathway past our little crop farm here. Around the corner you get a grand reveal and I'm sorry about how bright the sun is actually against the glass. I planted some tulips out front but eventually I want to replace this all with coarse dirt. I just didn't have any at the moment. And then you can come into the greenhouse. And by the way, I got silk touch on a book. So I added it to my ax so I could get all of these beehives in here. I'm really, really happy with how all the decorations came out in here. And of course we have our little botany pot farms. I actually AFK'd overnight. So these are almost full for every single one of the different flowers and foliage that we added into here. I also really like this floor that I added that I made out of cut andesite and cut andesite bricks. And then down the staircase here, I have completely decorated all of this create little farm into a workshop. And of course this also benefited from me being AFK. And now we have all these resources to build with. And yeah, I can't believe that all of this was made just from a simple create cobble generator that gets milled into gravel, which gets then crushed into sand here. And if we're lucky, we'll see some come down. 
There we go. And then it gets processed into this chest where then it becomes either nothing or gets washed into clay. And then this funnel system will evenly distribute the clay. So it'll pick one randomly to go through. And as you can see right here, that one's getting cooked into bricks, which will end up in this chest. And then right here, we have a compactor, which will allow us to get all these clay balls into clay blocks, which then will come out and get smelted into terracotta. As you can see, there's some lava right there. But before we end this episode today, there's one last thing that I really want to do, and that's to make some extra flower fields. So I'm going to gather some flowers and kick it into a time lapse. And while this time lapse is playing, I just want to say thanks so much for watching these episodes. I hope you guys are really enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun with Blockdown, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this island is completely changed at the end. I mean, look at how much these flower fields just changed this one area. I don't know too much about Create or the other mods, but I'm learning so much and I'm having so much fun doing it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye!